Hi folks, I've come to tell you a bit about this instrument here. This is called an auto harp. It's uh, an American instrument, an Appalachian instrument from the Rockies in the States, in North America. Uh, this instrument was the invention of a German guy by the name of Karl August Gutter in the latter part of the 1800s, sort of somewhere around about 1880, he developed an auto harp. And then it was another guy in America, a German emigre by the name of Karl Friedrich Zimmermann that introduced the auto harp to America. He'd obviously made a certain, uh, done some designs, uh, alterations and stuff like that. But uh, the auto harp is um, in three octaves, the same as a piano. So when you strike, if you was to lift the lid of a piano up and strike the strings, this is what you'd hear. But what he's done is put felt bars across with felt pads that dampen off the strings that you don't need for a chord like this. And uh, how we tune it, we use a chromatic tuner, that's a chromatic tuner, and we use a tuning key like on a piano to tune it. What I normally do is get one octave in tune and then tune the other two octaves to that one octave to get them in unison. But how we play it, we, we use finger picks. Um, I've got them here. Um, let me put the auto harp down and I'll show you. They're metal finger picks and a thumb pick. Now you can have a plastic thumb pick. That is a plastic thumb pick. But I use a metal thumb pick with plastic pick riveted to it. And that goes there and these go on the fingers but not claw fashioned but that way round so that they lap over the end of the fingers like that. You see? Now, if you press one key, you get a chord. Now if you pick, you can get several notes in that chord. You see, well, it's quite a um, quite an interesting because that enables you then to pick out melodies. Now this um, auto art was uh, developed and made by Oscar Schmidt which um, has now been brought out by the Washburn Guitar Company. Oscar Schmidt started life off um, studying as a bookbinder but because he didn't study very well uh, he started off in business but failed under Saxonian law because Oscar Schmidt was from Saxony. Uh, 
in Europe and um, he failed so he emigrated to America and became a publisher. Well he published several music books and they became so popular he thought well why don't I make musical instruments? So he opened up several factories making musical instruments and he became at the time one of the biggest uh, musical instrument makers in the world. He had three factories in Karlsbad in Czechoslovakia and four factories no I'm sorry he had four factories in Karlsbad and three factories in the States. Anyway uh, yes it was up to Carl Friedrich Zimmerman to introduce it to America and then the, um, the, the first instruments that uh, Oscar Schmidt made were one of them was the auto harp. I use for picking uh, melodies I use those two fingers and the thumb. But then you have to do infills. So I use as an infill a straight pick. I use a, I pick with with the two fingers and the thumb pick. So it's pick, down with the two fingers, down with the thumb, and up down with the two fingers. So it's pick, down with the two fingers, down with the thumb, and up down with the two fingers. And uh, when that's done fast, it's like this. Now you can then pick your melodies out over the infill like this. Now there's a song uh, by Woody Guthrie, it was, uh, some people call it the American National Anthem, but actually I wished it had have been, it's called This Land Is Your Land, it goes, this land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. You see, and uh, you can pick that out on the auto harp like this. and then you can add effects like if I pick the strings and then dampen them after I pick them I get this effect You 
see, and then you can put the whole song together and make it like this. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. I've owned and rambled that ribbon of highway. I saw above me the endless skyway. I saw below me a golden valley. This land was made for you and me. As I was strolling, wheat fields waving, and the dust clouds rolling, and all around me a voice was calling. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the near island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Green Waters This land was made for you and me That's the auto harp that's just a brief history and just showing how it's played. So I hope you like that. Uh, it's, it's a lovely instrument. Very good for children in schools to learn the rudiments of music. You can buy 9 bar auto harps, 12 bar auto harps and 23 bar auto harps which relates to 23 chords, 9 chords, 12, this is 15, this is a 15 bar, this has got 15 chords. And you can uh, take the top off and uh, set the chords out how you like them, the best way. Anyway, I hope you like that. Thank you.